Hello everyone, this is Meghnath. In this fourth session of Oracle tutorial series, we will learn what is a database. So ideally, this could be placed in the first session, but I have told you how to install Oracle and how to create a user and how to install SQL developer. So now we will see what is a database and what is the importance of database and what we normally will have inside database, right? So to understand this, I have Sim I have drawn a simple diagram to show you how websites work. Let's say this. Now, so when you type any URL, let's take this is your client system. So this is your system. So when you type some URL here, www.google.com or yahoo.com. So first it will take you to the login page. So in the login page, you will see here a text box to enter user ID and password. Now when you click on login, this data that you enter needs to be validated from somewhere. So that data will be present in database. So now, how things work is, so when you enter user ID and password, click on login, the data will be sent to the server. And this server will have like um, different technologies. Server can be um, .NET web server, which is IAS or it can be Java project, which will have normally Tomcat server, or it can be any other technology, right? So now different technologies will deal with different databases, like database also can be Oracle database, MS SQL database, or MySQL database, or DB2 database. So currently we are learning about Oracle database. So now, now what happens is, here to design this, you have to be really strong in HTML, and for, for writing business logic, so when you enter, let's take, I enter my user ID as Meg, and let's take my password as, uh, let's assume that my password is password only. So password. Now, when I enter these two, it'll go to the server. And in the server, in the JSP file, or in any technology that I use, I will have business logic to get the, to, to get the password for Meg. So this is my password and I will write the business logic. I'll write some logic in Java. So for JSP projects, for .NET projects, I use C sharp uh, language. So now I'll write some logic, business logic to get the value password here. And once I get the password in Java, I will encrypt the one which use it. So remember this password that normally gets stored in databases encrypted one, not the straightforward database that you, that user creates. So here what will happen is, so the password that you enter will be encrypted by the Java logic and that will be compared with this password. And if both matches, with both, if both the passwords match, we will take him to the home page. So every application, more or less, all applications will have database and database will have tables. So in our case, it's users table. Similarly, if you take about banking projects, we'll have customers table, employees table, or um, uh, invoice table, statement, mini statement, a lot of details will be there in case of bank, uh, uh, bank uh, database. If you take retail company like Walmart, so you'll have products tables, which will have all the products they're selling, uh, customers, orders, invoice. So like this, so every application will definitely have a database. So it's very much important for us to learn how to create tables, how to update the tables, how to select the required data from the tables. So a table is nothing but rows. So this is these two are column names. User ID is a column name, password is a column name, and these are all data. So a table will have columns and a table contains data. A table will have columns and the table contains data. And even there might be millions of records if you talk about like insurance companies, which needs to store uh, the complete uh, country uh, insurance agent or insurance user insurance details, it'll have millions of records, right? So what we learned from this, uh, from this diagram is that normally most of the applications uh, in any industry will deal with tables and a table will have columns and table will have data. Now a database is primarily contains tables and also the objects related to the tables, right? So database primarily contains tables and objects that are related to tables like functions, stored procedures, triggers, we're going to see all those things in the coming videos, right? So for now, database contains tables.
So in the next video, we will learn how to create a simple table in Oracle. Hope this is clear. Thank you.